Do you want to learn how to restart an Ubuntu server? I will take you through the process step by step in this tutorial video. To learn how, stay tuned. Hi, I'm Patrick from Dutchie Tech Tips. If you want more tutorial videos like this, hit the subscribe button. If you're already subscribed, hit the bell icon to receive notifications for future videos. To restart an Ubuntu server, we first need to be logged in to the server. It is recommended that we use an administrator account that has root slash administrator privileges to perform this task. I'm going to log in with an administrator account now. Now that we're logged in to our Ubuntu server, I'm going to share a tip with you. It is recommended that you use a prefix for each command. That prefix is sudo following the command. If you type sudo space bash as shown on the screen, press enter, input the sysadd password. As you can see, after typing sudo bash and our user password for sysadd, we're now performing functions on the root level instead of typing sudo then following the command. So now from now on, we can actually type the command directly. Now I'm going to show you three commands that you can use to restart the Ubuntu server. The first one is typing reboot as shown on the screen. The next one is shutdown space hyphen r space now as shown on the screen. What this command means is that we're going to shut down the server but flagged it as an R or restart and specify the time we want to shut down or restart the server which is now. The last command I'm going to show you is called init6 I-N-I-T space 6 as shown on the screen. We will be using init6 to demonstrate the restart process of the Ubuntu server. Once I press enter on the keyboard, the server will restart. There you have it. The Ubuntu server has restarted successfully and we're now back to the command line prompt window to log into the server. To summarize the key points of this video, I've shown you three commands you can use to restart the server. I have demonstrated using one of those commands to restart the Ubuntu server on Ubuntu Server 17.4.